Stop, bro. Woo! My self-assimilation began at the age of five when I learned English to stop the strange looks from my neighbor. He has yet to learn Spanish, they said. I adapted to the environment and changed to meet requirements. Fine. Next at 11 came junior high where the teachers make you feel like junior juvenile delinquents on death row, handing back report cards like death sentences to failure. I did not die on death row, but a part of me did when Miguel told me that Aeropostale is for beaners, causing me to tear apart my closet when I got home in dignity. I was culturally closeted by age 14, telling girls I was part Spanish, but las muchachas no le gusta un morenito gordito and repeatedly insisting to friends no hablo espanol bro you are a product of the system and you cannot succeed in the system they tell me the system made me change who i was by showing me television stars with perfect pale skin and rock stars with curly golden locks I could dye my hair blonde, but no matter how much I tried, I could not evade the sun rays on car rides home, and I could not evade the gorritos my father blasted whenever we pulled up to the parent-teacher conferences. Shame. The system made me feel shame, and at age 15, the system nearly destroyed this brown boy because writers don't usually come in shades of tan, and poets should be able to pronounce their THs correctly. I lost faith. But at age 16, I learned from my mother that Mexicans do not lose faith. They just do not lose, period. They do not, abandon they do not abandon the love of their culture, even when it is being pried from their tired hearts. They do not abandon love, they embrace it. My mother taught me that Mexicans will put the spice in your kitchen and the color in your home. Most importantly, she taught me to no longer feel shame when my father comes home sweaty and suntanned. But instead, my brown eyes swell with pride when he asks, Hola, mijito, como te fue la escuela? Contesto con orgullo porque soy mexicano, primeramente, americano, segundamente, hermano, chicano, ciudadano de tu son, latinoamericano, activista, feminista, poeta, waiting until the system decides to care about me again, Mexican-American.